Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and today we're gonna to be surprising my son, Xander. This month, it's gonna be his seventh birthday, but I decided to give him his Nintendo Switch early, which he doesn't even know he's getting. The kid talks about it nonstop because the Wii U is his all-time favorite console, and every chance he gets, he talks about this, and he has no clue that we got it for him, and I told him that we were just gonna do a nerd block unboxing. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this up and bring him up and see what he thinks. Here we go, let's put some kitten fabric over this bad boy. All right, let's go get him. Be real careful. Okay, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, just come in here. All right. You wanna have a seat in the chair? Yeah. You wanna be the big man? Yeah, see, I think it's all the way up. All right. So, what is that look at the cam, see the camera right there? Yeah. Do you That's see the camera right there? Yeah. There's two of them. Okay, so, so what are we gonna do? Um, we're going to unbox like something like the, the nerd block. We're going to unbox a nerd block? Yeah. Oh, what if I told you we're not going to unbox a nerd block? What? What if I told you instead we're going to unbox what's under here? Now grab this. Let's go ahead and pull. Let's keep pulling. Yeah. What is that? Um, <gasps> what is that? Um, a Skylanders event. What do you think that is? A Switch! Did you get a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, a Nintendo <laughs> Switch then. You've wanted one of those really bad, didn't you? And I want this too. I want these two things. <laughs> They're all for you, buddy. Oh. They're all for you. Although that might be for Daddy, the Zelda game. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. If he can play it, we'll... Well, I want this. Oh, you want that too? Okay, you want all three of them? Are you yeah. pretty happy? Yeah. Did you really want a Switch? Yeah. Okay, tell everybody how happy you are. I'm very happy, so I'm going to tell you guys. Do we want to so, open it up? You want to do an unboxing? I want to unbox the Nintendo Switch team so that I can play it. Okay, here, let's put it up on the table. Let's unbox this together. All right, well, what do we need to unbox? What do we need to open it? Oh, you already got it figured out? Yeah. All right, remember, you got to show it to the camera as you're doing it. So you got to see what you're doing. I'm going to show you how to be a professional YouTuber. Tell them what you're doing. Well, I'm just unboxing this. Okay. So, oh, there you go. Oh, here are what do you got? The, um, here is one thing. All right, you're doing great, buddy. Here's a charger for this. And here's another charger. Here is like a box. I'm turning on the air conditioning. It's a million degrees in here, so I apologize if you guys got to listen to that in the background, but got to keep us cool. So what is that? Um, so this is the charger for the Nintendo Switch. So that's the charger in the dock, right? That's the thing that you hook to the TV and it yeah, and it just works? Okay, and let's go ahead and put that right here. And here's the controller. Yeah, let's put that right there. And here are, um, here is like another thing right here. And here's a Nintendo Switch controller. That's a Switch controller? Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We'll go We'll go through and it. So this looks like a little Nintendo Switch controller. That, of course, is the dock. And we got some power adapters, an HDMI cable. This is the... <gasps> what is that? It's a little screen. Is that the Switch? Yeah. And wow, what are those the controllers? Yes. So it looks like we got two of the bumper controllers that came with it. It looks like it comes with the two little side thumbstick jobber thingies. Wow, those actually feel pretty heavy. You want to get that out though, don't you? Yeah. Can I play on it? Of course you can play on it. That's the whole point of this. All right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Okay. All right, let's get all the garbage out of here. And all right, you're running the show, buddy. Why don't you show the camera? Yeah, so this is my Switch. That's your Switch? Yep. You pretty so, excited? There. Here, can you hold it up for that camera right there? See, this is um my little screen. Mm -hmm. This is when you want to play away from your TV. Oh, and wow. And these are the controllers. Do you know how to put them on there? Yeah. Wow, buddy. He already knows how to use this thing. Guys, he's been watching every single video. Every little bit of marketing material on this. So he knows more about this than I do, for a change. Yeah, how do you turn this on? Okay, so you got that on there, right? Yeah. Okay, are those all snapped into place? Yeah. There they go, they're all snapped into place, okay. Wow, this is bigger than I thought it was, guys. 
Hey guys. On, honestly, this doesn't do it justice. <laughs> Sandra's like, okay, you want to show it to him? Yeah, so this is very important in the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Can you hold it up? There you go. So first you have to turn this thing up. He's like, I'm done with the video, guys. I'm done with the video. I just want to play it. All right, let's plug it in first because I'm sure it needs power. Because I, I doubt the batteries are charged, buddy. Okay. All right, so Daddy's going to go plug this in for you, right? You're still, you're still running the show. Looks like the charging cable that comes with it is probably about, I want to say about maybe four feet in length. Well, here, let's try this. So I think it goes this way. I think you got to flip it around this way. Then. And then this drops in like this. See? Now, see how it locks into place when you do that? It goes like this? Yeah. It's a little different than I was expecting. Yeah. If you want to play away from your TV, you can use this. Then you just pull it out of there? Yeah. Show him. Go ahead and lift it out. Just like that. The dock is actually less substantial than I thought it would be. The, the dock is very lightweight and just feels like it's basically just like a USB dock or something for your phone. So all the business is in this bad boy right here. So when you drop it down on there, the other thing I noticed is when you put it in there, it doesn't slide back and forth, but you can put it in at a little bit of an off angle and slide it, and it'll pop down into place. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to play with your TV, um, you just attach the Joy-Cons to this. <laughs> Even knows what they're called? They're called Joy-Cons. Is that correct? Can somebody down in the comments let me know if they are Joy-Cons? I've done no research on this. So let's do this, Sander. So how do you get these off? Do you have to push the little button? Okay, so there's a little button on the back of these that allow them to release from the screen. And then... And then we're going to go ahead and... Put, you, want, you want to do it? You want to put them on the controller? Yeah. Okay, show them how it's done, buddy. Then they walk into place. You got to go up higher. There, Daddy will help. Like this. So you put them in the top. And you slide it down. And then this one, you put it in the top. And slide it down. And now you have a controller. Just like you would on a yeah. conventional system. And then, if you want to take... I'm just going to let him run the show and go get something to drink. And then... All right, you, you tell him like it is, buddy. Then, you, um... If you want to unattach these, you just um, press these little buttons here, and then they unlock. And then, you, um, put these things in. And then you just lock these into place, and then. Oh, are you putting them back on the screen? Yeah. You got it. There you go. Pulled all the way down until it clicks. There you go. You got to hear that click. All right. So what we want to do is we need to give it some power. So let's see if you can. Okay. So you can plug the power. It looks. It almost looks like a USB C. If yeah, I'm not mistaken, I'm sure it's proprietary. That's the adapter. So you plug that in. It says it's charging in the corner. Or I'm guessing you can also plug it into the dock. Big guess here. Yeah. Where does stuff plug in? Oh, the back the back drops open. There's a place for the AC oh, adapter, a USB, and an is HDMI out. Now. Oh, it's working? Yeah. It's got battery? Yeah. So that's how that works. Okay, so. Okay, don't do the setup yet. Daddy's gotta go through the setup, okay? Actually, I'm gonna take these off so we can play around with them while it's charging. And it still fits into the dock even without the controller sides on it, which is nice. So you can put the controller sides on it while it's in the dock. Okay, and then you got the controller here that you can drop them into, but you also have the option of taking these little bumpers that have little wrist adapters on them. It looks like these just slide right on like that. And then it gives you a full control pad with two bumpers, or it gives you the ability sideways to push them with your two fingers. Thank you, Xander. So when you have them both on there, now you have one that you can use in each hand. This is actually cool. There's a lot more configuration options than I originally thought. And then it looks like if you put them on the master controller here, it shows you the charge indicator for each one of the individual controllers since each one of these has a battery in it. So for the yeah. first time ever, a single controller is broken into two pieces that each have a separate battery and don't have a cable connecting them like the old Wii did, for instance. Okay, let's put it back in so it can keep charging. Yeah. It needs power. And then, if you want to play away from your TV, you can just take these things out from the controller and then put it onto the little screen so that you can play away from your TV. That's if pretty you, cool. And if you want to attach these on, and then you, if you want to play in tabletop mode, you can just prop the stand out and so that you can play in tabletop. This is him excited, guys. He's really excited about this. Yeah, he's just so excited. Now, just looking at the unit, there's a huge hole up here at the top that has a massive heat sink inside of it. I'm sure that's where all the heat from the unit is coming out of. 
And the screen is actually beautiful. It's only 720p, but for this size, I actually am glad that they went with that option because putting high resolution screens on low, low end devices basically requires a lot more GPU, lowers the battery life and everything. So I think this was a good decision. So it also has a stand that opens up here at the bottom so that you can put it down and, and play games either in two player mode or in single, single player mode. And then right under the stand is the micro SD slot so that you can add extra memory to it. I think that's really cool. It looks like it has stereo speakers on the back, but otherwise it actually feels really solid. Now the screen itself, I can tell just by pushing on it, is plastic. So I'll probably get a screen protector for this just so Xander doesn't get it all scratched up. I kind of thought it would be glass, but I guess it makes more sense to make it out of plastic since kids are probably gonna be dropping it and banging it around. Now on the controllers themselves, there's little green LEDs on the inside that show you I'm guessing the charge level of the controllers. They only have one bar right now. This whole thing actually needs to be charged up. But the nice thing about it is you can just take the adapter out of the little charging cradle and just put it directly into the bottom and then the charge the controllers, you just put them right onto the side. And everything slides together very, very nicely and very simply. And now the controllers are charging, the main unit is charging, and you can play it. All right, so now we're gonna go through the first time configuration for the device. We're gonna go ahead and say English. Uh, we are in the Americas. The thumbstick actually feels quite nice. Um, it's a very, very short throw though. Feels pretty good in my hands. All right, let's go ahead and connect to my network. Wow, the touch screen actually works very well on this. It's, it's very precise. Just trying to connect to the internet here for the first time. All right, time zone, Los Angeles. Uh, it asks if I want to connect to a TV. I'm going to do that later. And then it walks through the directions on how to detach the controllers. We already figured it out because it was pretty intuitive, actually. Oh, it wants me to detach the controllers now. So let's go ahead and push the buttons and slide them out. Okay. Use the left stick to select next and press the A button on the right controller. Okay, I got to push the A button. There we go. You can use the console with the Joy-Con controller attached or detached. Choose the, the control style you prefer, then click continue. I, I actually would like to have them attached. Yeah. For now. Okay, select your icon and nickname. There's Mario. Yeah. And it's green, which is your favorite color. Yeah. All right, we're gonna call this, this guy Xander. Yeah. There you go, you're now Xander. Oh, you can add another user? I'm going to go ahead and add Daddy. Daddy's yeah. going to be Mar Mario, too. Actually, Daddy's going to be... No, I'll be Mario. That's fine. All right. We're going to... Yeah, we'll both be Mario. And I'll be Barnacles. Xander Barnacles. There we go. Barnacles. And we'll add Mama later, okay? Actually, here, I'll, I'll have Mama configure the parental controls later because she knows, she knows how to set all that up for you. Are you getting it ready for me? Yep. And then it says, insert a game or download. So, so right now it's ready for a game. I did notice one thing that's kind of interesting though. How do you have it sit on the table while it's charging? This, this seems like a really crappy design. Am I missing something here? So like to set it on the desk, you pull out the kickstand and you set it down like that, right? Yeah. But if you have the charging cable plugged into it, <laughs> it just, it, it doesn't work. Why didn't they put the charging cable on the top? Also, the game card slot up here on the top actually feels kind of flimsy. I'm, I'm surprised with how good the build quality is on this, that the little game card slot feels like it's probably gonna break off after like a month of use. All right, so there's no other place to plug the power in, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's just not gonna work. All right, well, it's ready for a game, so we're gonna go ahead and throw in Zelda. Let's open this up. Yeah, let's put in Zelda. It's a really Wait. small game case. We need Bat Knife, dude. Yeah. Let's get Bat Knife. There he is, always under the desk, always willing to help. Ready? Yeah. No, 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 Yeah, that's right. I like it when you say no, 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 bat I like saying it. I like saying it. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so there's just a tiny itty bitty thing in there that resembles like a really fat SD card. Xander just wants to end the review right now and play with it. So, so we're not going to do a full in-depth review this time around. This will just be getting the thing out and getting it set up because I, I, I want him to be able to play with it before he goes to bed. I'll do another video down the road where I actually play the games and uh, do a more in-depth review on the system because honestly, Xander, I can tell he's really itching. I edited a lot of the stuff out where he just he really just wanted to go and play with it. And I honestly don't blame him. I'd be in his shoes. I'd want to do the same thing. So I'm going to let him go enjoy his new toy. And then later on, maybe when he's sleeping, We'll shoot another video. Okay. All right, take it easy, guys. Until next time, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Internet. Look right there. Say bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. <laughs> All right, you want to go play with your toy? Yeah. Okay, see you downstairs. Yeah, I'm going to go show my mom. He's going to go show his mom. Hey, mom. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Can I bring that down to Oh, do you need this and this? 
Here, I'll bring the accessories down, okay? Yeah. Because I don't want you to trip on the stairs. So go down to the bedroom, and Daddy will be down in a few minutes to get you all set up on the TV, okay? And can you get that too? I will, yeah. br I will bring that too. He wants to make sure he gets the Skylanders. You have no idea how much that kid's wanted to switch. But I would be absolutely lying to you guys if I didn't say I didn't want it for this. <laughs> Come on, we're just all big kids.